What is going on everybody, Sir Matrix here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do longer animations using gestures in VR chat. So, let me go ahead and show you the avatar that I'm using real quick. It's Majora's Mask avatar. And I, actually, I actually had to do a lot of questioning myself and ask around, ask a bunch of people on how to do it. So, let me show you guys real quick the old animation that I made that runs pretty damn smooth. So. All it is is it's just her. It's about 4,000 some odd frames of her just sitting or floating in the air playing the ocarina. As you can see here, hand let me focus on it. Ah, shit. Damn it, Unity. See, she's just floating up in the air playing the ocarina. That's all she's doing. So we'll go ahead and now hide these game objects. Hide these actual animations. So to do this, it's actually really simple so we'll go ahead you want to do is you want to create a game object we'll call this one spin animation oh, shit. so now that we have that we can go ahead and duplicate our avatar our main one throw it in here set it to active so what we want to do first is we want to make an animation in our actual game object we'll call it I don't know activate spin I can spell. So now we have this. What we do is we'll add a property and set it to where it'll enable this avatar. And that it's think of it like making weapons or something like that. Like you know, gestures are only one frame. So we'll doing this, we'll set it to where it'll activate this constantly and keep it on. That's what this is for. So now that we have that, we can come over here and actually create our animation. Now that we have that, we can go over to our muscle editor. That's what I love using as muscle editor. And what we'll do is we'll set it up to where she is floating in the air. Actually, not you know, not well, not like crunched up and shit, you know. And then we'll set it up to where she's standing straight up. Uh, let's see here, leg stretch. We want the leg to stretch out. Bring it back kind of try and make it as even as you can on the floor. If you don't have a muscle editor, you can do it this way too by changing the values this way. Which is just the manual way of doing it, but I'm, I'm a lazy motherfucker. So if you have muscle editor, you can do this and copy values to mirror side so that way it's her standing straight up. If she still doesn't look right, uh, maybe put the foot back some more. So it looks like she's standing up straight. So there, now that we have that, we can take these fields of animations copy them, go over to this frame, and set them there. What we'll do is we'll have it to where her leg raises up. We'll do our left leg, like so. If this foot's in the ground, that's okay. I mean, it's not too bad. So right there, as you can see, she has her foot raised up in the air. And then what we'll do is we'll copy these same set of frames, go over to the next field, so two, two seconds. And what we'll do from here is we'll have her spin. So we'll change her rotation. Oh, maybe. That's the x axis. I don't want that. I'm trying to remember which axis it is. No, that's not it either. It doesn't really matter. Oh, shit. It's I hate using Unity's animation timeline. It's a pain in the ass. So okay, it is the y-axis. So we'll set it to where she goes this way a little bit, and at the same time, let's add in an audio source. So we'll create another audio source in here. Uh, let's see here an audio source in and we'll parent it to her hips and then what can we do from there is we will set the audio source so we'll go to our armature hips audio source is active 
set that to true. Sorry, that's my smelly thingy that makes things smell good. And then what we will do is we will actually put our clip in this audio source. Well, maybe if I can get there right. So we'll put our clip in the audio source. So here's the clip that I'm going to be using. So we'll go back to our animation now. Click on this. Make sure it's still good. Go back to our muscle editor. As you can see here, she starts going, spins. I'll select this whole frame of keys. Go over to the next jump. This again. And we'll set the rotation some more. So like right here. So now she's up, spins. Yeah, buddy. Select this set of keys. Go to four minutes, or four seconds, my bad. Set the rotation even more. It's there, so what she does is she spins again, so it's yeah. Copy these same set of frames. Go to the five seconds now. Now it's basically the same process over and over again. So now we'll spin her again. Back to here. And then so on and so forth. So if we run this. It's not smooth enough though. You get the gist of it, right? So, I mean, this is kind of rushed. I mean, I'm rushing it, I should say. So now we have that, this is us just our test animation. We want to make sure this is active. Yes. Okay, good. Now, a second here. You want to disable this one. Then you want to parent it in here. See where I have this one? This is my old game object with this in it. And then what you want to do is you want to enable this one. And do the same thing you always do with gestures. You want to duplicate it, create a new animation. This one will be, we'll call this one actual spin toggle. And what we'll have it do is we'll have it turn on spin animation. And we set this to here. Is active. Is active. Now you will have problems with this. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, as you can see here on this body, I disabled skin render mesh on this one. So you want to do the same thing here. So you want to go over here and do this. Disable skin render on the actual thing itself. So what that does, and we'll do it here as well. So on this one. Set this, go to our body, skin render mesh, is enabled, which should be right here. And we'll set this to false by un un unticking it. So what that does is it stops your animation from, what is it, I'm sorry. It stops your animation from having your default avatar running. So if you were to not do that, this avatar here would still be there. And you don't you don't want that because you know it just looks kind of weird. So we have it set up now to where our body is not there. Through this, as you can see. Now we can do the same thing here too. Uh, body, skin mesh render, body, this. Is enabled set that to does not enabled so now we don't have that problem anymore with our meshes you know colliding or you know this one just staying so now that you have that done you're gonna take what you made so activate actual spin toggle put it into a gesture so we will come over here open up our overrides 
and we'll put it on, I don't know, uh, rock and roll. So, actual spin toggle. There we go, now it's done. Once you do that, save your project like always. VRC SDK, show build control. Kind of helps if I re enable the other avatar first, doesn't it? <laughs> Show build control panel, everything's good, found the audio, whatever. All that good jazz. So now it's gonna build like it always does. And you know, you wait for it and all that good jazz. So once it's done, I hate when it does this. Come on, you can do it update your avatar or upload your new one, whatever it may be. Upload. I put on rock and roll, yeah. So once that's done, I will see everybody inside VR chat and I will show you that it works. All right, everybody, so I just loaded into VR chat and just wait for my mom to load in. A little shop because of VR is weird. There we go. Alright, so we're here. So if I do rock and roll. I think she's in the floor. I'll show you the other one though, so you can see that it does work. I think I have to mess with the game on it's, it's It varies on how you set it up. So, as you can see, this one works. The other one does play audio, but it's just, it's hiding because I probably set the game object too far away. See that the game audio does play. This is only a five second frame, and it'll just stay there and it'll go. It'll loop. Oh shit. See this one though. As you can see, it does what it's supposed to do. And this is like a 4,000 some odd frame animation. And boom, you come back to normal like so. Oh, I hope y'all enjoyed. This was actually my first tour for this game, which is kind of weird because I just play it. Generally. Oh god, I think they just I have to re re really paint the bra because you know she she doesn't generally wear clothes. So, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to message me on Discord or message me on YouTube. I don't care. I hope y'all enjoyed. And I'll see you right later. This is a uh, quick cut in, guys. So. I figured out what the problem was with, um, let's see here, with the animation not showing up. So I, I goofed a little bit. I was going too fast and I didn't realize it. So on the actual spin animation, you want to make sure that your body skin is on for the actual spin animation. So if you want to, get rid of that keyframe. Keep that one on. But on here, you want to set it to this skin mesh, this skin render mesh right here, which is sitting over here. You want to make sure that that's turned off. So on the actual gesture that you use to activate this game object, you want to make sure that this this body skin's turned off, but this one's turned on on this one right here. And at the same time, you might want to move your model over to the correct spot. That's so we'll put it to zero on everything. There we go. So now she's sitting in the middle where she's supposed to be. Now if we run the animation after we took that off, as you can see, now she's spinning and showing up. Alright, sorry about that guys, um, I goofed, that was my fault, but it should be fixed now in this next, you know, at the end of you seen the thing, this video will come up. Appreciate it and have a good day.